There is something else, though, that you've been asking us about, and yes, we've been working on it. Welcome home. What is up, it's Epoxy, back at it again with some Bethesda E3 coverage, and wow, I was not actually expecting them to do it here at E3. I thought it was all just a hoax, but it sure as hell wasn't, and of course, the in industry insiders that are always right are once again right. I don't know why I thought that they were trolling us, but I don't know, I just, I didn't believe it could be true, but it sure is. Skyrim Remastered is confirmed. This will be the full game and all the DLC remastered and we got our first look with comparison shots with PS3 versus PS4 and Xbox 360 versus Xbox One and this right here is a remaster done right. Now it's not actually called Skyrim Remastered, it's actually Skyrim Special Edition. I'm not exactly a huge fan of the name but I'm a huge fan of the graphical improvements so who fucking cares about the name. I'll be referring to it as Skyrim Remastered here on the channel though, so keep that noted. What we can actually tell from this footage thanks to the menu pop-ups is there has been not just a remaster for meshes and textures, it's also visually noticeable by the way, but the introduction of remastered art and effects, volumetric god rays, dynamic depth of field, screen space reflections, new snow shaders, new water shaders, and mods are coming for consoles. So Xbox One and PlayStation 4 mods for Skyrim. This is how a remaster should be done. And I feel like Bethesda already knows how to do it best even though this is their first remaster that's been released. And it's just ridiculous that they, in my personal opinion, have done such an amazing job for their very first remaster. If we see another remaster from them, I'd love to see like Fallout 3 redone, Oblivion redone if that's possible and fall of new vegas even now this remaster on vanilla obviously does not beat what is capable with modding on the original game for pc as mods have had five years now to be developed the capabilities of e and b alone are insane and even without texture mods and all that you could probably actually get away with just an e and b and get better graphics than what's seen here but an e and b mixed with texture mods like 2k and 4k parallax textures you could just make your skyrim look absolutely insane and i just love the way that you can make skyrim look on pc but for a remaster this is absolutely amazing and anyone who wants the base game to look beautiful without mods this is 100 percent for you heck even if you're modding your game this could be a benefit for you depending of course on the compatibility with current mods for skyrim we don't actually have an official word on that yet as far as my knowledge goes but we're gonna have to keep our fingers crossed on that one because if they're not compatible that could be well over 45,000 mods from the Skyrim Nexus alone going down the drain. But I doubt that. I don't see them putting this out if they couldn't get it compatible with the mods. There's just so many mods out there and if we had to throw away all those mods and start all over, that would be a little bit ridiculous. So what I'm sure you all want is the release date if you've not already heard it. If you haven't already heard it, you probably haven't even heard of Skyrim Special Edition until you clicked on this video. Skyrim Special Edition will actually be in stores. October 28th this year, about four months away. I wish it was a little bit closer, but that is definitely close enough for me. And I'm just really excited for this. Let me know down in the comment section below, are you excited? I feel like this is the perfect package to keep us busy until The Elder Scrolls 6. However far that is down the road, I'm not quite too sure. It could be like 2018, it could be 2019, it totally depends on what they're doing with their new size dev team. But that's it for this E3 coverage video. If you'd like to watch more, click the annotation during the outro for the Fallout 4 DLC reveals or click the link down in the description below. Also, make sure to leave all your thoughts and discussion in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed, please smack that like button down below and subscribe to join the good fight if you haven't already. It would be super greatly appreciated. In addition, check out TriggerBomb.com, the sexy forum website made by Bethesda fans for all you Bethesda fans. The link is in the description. So anyways, until next time, this is Epoxy, signing off.